this video tutorial, I will demonstrate how to enter web attendance in WebAdvisor at Craven Community College. First, you need to pull your census report from your Moodle course so you can determine the first date that students entered your class for attendance purposes using the syllabus quiz. To get started, I will go to the Craven Community College homepage at cravencc.edu. Up at the top, there's a Web Advisor link. I will need to log in. And once logged in, over to the right, we see some squares. I'm going to select the one that says Faculty. I will enter the Web Attendance Tracking link. I will go to Attendance Tracking. I need to add the start date of the class here. So it will pull from the very beginning of the class. So my class started on May 20th, 2019. I'm going to select this section at the bottom because it's 2019 summer and that is the section I want to enter my attendance for and then I will submit. My next step is to add the letter E for each student's first day. I will look at my census report. I will put an E underneath the date that the student completed the syllabus quiz. So each student will potentially have a different start date in my online class based on the day that that student took the syllabus quiz. If you have a student or students who did not attend your class by the census date at 11.59 p.m., you will need to mark them as a no-show in your web attendance entry screen. To do that, Find the column that says No Show, scroll down until you see the student's name, and check the box that says No Show. That will indicate that the students did not attend your class before the census date. Once you have checked the box for all of your No Shows and entered the E's for all of the students who attended your class, you need to check the box that says I hereby certify that I'm submitting this attendance information via electronic transmission in lieu of a signature. The last checkbox underneath is what you will select at the very end of the class after the, cl the final class is over and you will submit your last day of class and that will be your final submission. So do not check this box until the end of class. For now we will submit with this checkbox and all of our E's entered on this screen. So I will submit and that's it. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial on entering web attendance. See you next time. Once you have entered the E's for the first day of each student's class attendance, 